Nowadays, lots of people use cannabis to get high. But what about ancient people? In 2013, archaeologists excavated a 2,500-year-old cemetery in western China. In eight of the graves, they found 10 wooden incense burners, which had heated stones in them and a strange residue on top. So, to learn more, they partnered with a lab that analyzed the chemical residue, and they found that it was actually the ancient remains of marijuana. And, surprisingly, this particular marijuana had a very high THC content, the most psychoactive ingredient in pot. The vast majority of uncultivated cannabis has low THC levels. In fact, people in eastern China have been growing cannabis since at least 3500 BC, mostly for its oil seed and hemp. And the fact that this ancient cemetery had cannabis with high THC levels suggests that maybe they were selecting it for this purpose. It's possible that they were using it as some sort of ritual or religious activity since this incense burner was found in a burial. And the researchers even suggest that maybe they were inhaling the smoke from this marijuana so that they could somehow communicate with the deceased or the divine. So how did these ancient people get their hands on cannabis with high THC levels? The researchers have two ideas. One is that since these plants are located high in the Pumera Mountains, the extreme environment up there may have influenced how they grow. It's possible, but not known for sure, that the extreme environment up there, such as low temperatures, low nutrient availability, high exposure to UV rays, and strong light intensity, triggered the plants to change how they produce or metabolize certain compounds, which could lead to more psychoactive properties. Maybe ancient people found these plants and then began cultivating them. Another idea is that people, either intentionally or inadvertently, bred these plants to have higher THC levels. Back then, these plants would have been traded far and wide on the Silk Road, spreading the high THC cannabis plants pretty much everywhere. This study is important because although we have evidence that ancient people in Central Asia used marijuana for all kinds of different reasons over the past few millennia, this is the first clear example that people are likely using it for its psychoactive properties. Thank you.